Welcome to Nursing School Explained and today's video about renal cancer. As always, we look at risk factors first. So male patients are at higher risk than female patients and renal cancer usually occurs between 50 and 70 years old. Smoking is a major risk factor, factor for renal cancer as well as bladder cancer. So really anything pertaining to the urinary tract is at high risk for cancer development if the patient is a smoker. Other risk factors include obesity as well as hypertension and then exposure to certain toxic um, elements such as asbestos, gasoline or cadmium. Symptoms, a lot of times patients who develop renal cancer won't have any and it is an incidental finding on some sort of other abdominal imaging study. And unfortunately, because there are no symptoms, many times 30% of patients already have metastasis by the time that the renal cancer is found out about. Other signs and symptoms include hematuria, flank pain, but that usually doesn't occur until the tumor is um, pushing on other, other structures around there. There might be a palpable mass also if it's a larger tumor. And the patient also might have general, general symptoms such as weight loss and then hypertension and anemia because remember the kidney is also responsible for regulating our blood pressure and then also um, in charge of the erythropoietin production for the red blood cells. So diagnostic tests, certainly we want to send off a urinalysis and also a urine cytology to check for malignant cells in that urine sample. Ultrasound, CT and MRI imaging studies are always helpful to see uh, the advancement, the placement of the, of the cancer as well as the spread um, of the cancer to any of the surrounding tissues and organs. And then many times an angiogram with a biopsy is performed to take a sample of the tumor, find out what kind of tumor we're dealing with so that we can come up with a treatment plan for our patient. Now, the treatment, as with any cancer, always depends on the staging from that biopsy that's been taken. If the cancer is small, a partial nephrectomy can be performed where part of the diseased kidney is being removed. If the cancer is a little bit more advanced, a simple total nephrectomy can be done where the, just the kidney is removed or if there is already signs that the cancer has been spreading, then a radical nephrectomy is performed. And radical just means that the kidney is removed, nephre nephrectomy, but radical also means removing any of the adjacent tissues, such as the adrenal glands surrounding fascia, the ureter of that particular kidney, and any lymph nodes that might be involved. As always with cancer, chemo and radiation as well as immunotherapy are options before or after surgery depending on the patient stage and overall health. Now as nurses, our job is to educate our patients about the risk factors and teach them about prevention. So what really we want to do is patients who are smokers advise them to quit because they're at high risk for developing urinary tract cancers, especially bladder and renal cancer, and also those with obesity and hypertension, we want to remind them of the importance of controlling um, these two risk factors to make sure that the patients don't develop renal cancer. And then after any of these surgeries, we want to make sure that we provide pain management and stool softeners if the patient is also on a narcotic pain medicine. We want to provide any kind of wound care and manage any kind of diversions from that kidney that will let the urine flow or any kind of other devices that the patient might have, such as a catheter. We want to certainly educate our patient not only about prevention but about the treatment program, what is um, expected to happen next, and certainly we can refer them to support groups which is always helpful where they can really get the help of peers that have been through this type of cancer and can kind of share their experiences. And we also want to address the patient's body image issues that might be developing from any kind of surgical scars, wound care, and so forth. So thank you so much for watching this video on renal cancer. Please also check out my other videos in the urinary disorders playlist. And I'll see you soon right here on Nursing School Explained. Thanks for watching.